Hey guys, in this video I've got a tutorial on how to make a rather interesting program. This isn't exactly a tutorial on how to do a certain thing, but it makes a really cool program. This was one of the first programs I actually made that I was actually like, wow. Um, so I only just remembered it a few days ago, so this is what I'm going to make. So essentially it's just a program that you enter a uh, sentence or word or whatever, and then it makes it random text and then it changes a bit slightly each sentence until it reveals the normal string so let me show you how to do that now so here you've got import string import random and import time these are just importing the things from the library that you need to make this program now here in possible characters it's just a variable saying the possible characters that are allowed to be inputted by the user so ascii lowercase which is a b c d e f g blah 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 String dot digits one two nine and zero, um, uppercase letters and full stop comma exclamation mark, question mark semicolon and a colon. So yeah, these are just some of the things. Now here is the input. So we've got a variable target um, assigned to an input. Enter your target text. So you enter the text that you want to be changed. Now you have a variable attempt to this, which joins the random, random choice. So um, we used import random here to make sure that what we're choosing is as random as possible. So random dot choice, possible characters, which is here, possible characters in line five, for i in range, length of target. So for the length of this variable of the target text we've entered. Now this is just empty, just yeah just so that it has space completed equals false so now look at this generation is zero while completed equals false print attempt this and attempt next while completed equals true for i in range length of target if attempt this doesn't equal target if attempt this here in line eight doesn't equal the target text which is the text you entered completed equals false so it'll attempt again, the random choice, dot possible characters, which is in line five, else attempted next plus equals target i, and the i in range is the length of the target. So the generation uh, plus equals one, attempt this equals attempt next, and time dot sleep. Now this is where you're using the import time. Time dot sleep um, 0 0.1 is the time between each sentence to be printed out. So let's say you've got the first one that's random text and then the next one where it's changed once. There's a 0 0.1 second gap between the two. You can change this to practically as long as you need. And then after the whole program is done, the while loop, the for loop, if statements, else statements and everything, you've got print target matched. That took plus string generation. The generation is how many times um, this program has been looped around to get its normal text plus generations so target match that took for example a hundred generations so that's what it will print out so let's run this program top right so enter my target text I'm gonna enter this is Python program the longer the text the more it will take to actually make it run so if you can see here it's all random it looks all nonsense but you can see, especially the word programming is starting to come together. So you just wait a while. Right now it's counting how many generations. And you'll be able to see soon that at the end it will print. So it's got this is Python. Very close. Yes. So target match, that took 201 generations. So when you set generation to zero, generation plus equals one for each attempt that's been made. So yes, that's the program. Now, this... I can't think of any practical uses this program will have. Obviously, um, while loops, for loops, yes, all that stuff. For, but this program in general, I don't think there'll be any practical application for it. It's just cool to create that scrolling matrix effect thing, which I like. But then it eventually gets normal anyway. And here, as you can see, let me just show you in the bottom left. It says Python, and then it says programming, but just with an S instead, and then a D. And then an N, a 3, a 0, D, and then a dot, all the way until it's got another 0 and then an R. So you can see the change, even if you scroll up, 
it starts from all this so i don't think any of these letters are in order and then you can go here you can just keep going down and then you can see the first p from programming has come in over there so yeah you can see that this program is actually changing i think it's called the evolution of text programs it has slightly different names but that's what it's called so yeah if you like this tutorial make sure you leave a like and subscribe and yeah leave some suggestions for future videos